Hello and welcome back to Adventure Worthy. My name's Lumen and in this first impressions episode, myself and Helene are going to be having a look at Spelunky. Spelunky is an indie roguelike platformer with fully destructible randomized levels filled with all manner of monsters, traps and treasure. The game was developed and published by Moss Mouth and actually first released way back in 2009 on PC. It was later remade and improved for Xbox Live Arcade and now us PC users finally have access to that remake with its release on Steam and GOG on the 8th of August. The game features local co-op, deathmatch modes, daily challenges, a bunch of unlockables and much more. So let's jump in and give it a try. Here we are at the main menu and right now, before we jump in to start a new game, I'm going to show you the help and options menu. There are a couple of interesting options that I feel I need to show you, like this for instance. You can change your damsel style. Now, as far as I know, the damsel is a mob, look at that outfit that spawns, a little NPC that spawns in every level that you play that you could potentially rescue and then that will give you an extra heart or something like that. So you either get an extra heart on top of the ones you start with so your health pool increases or it just heals one that you've lost. And because this is a roguelike it's incredibly difficult and you really need the health. Now you can set it to a nice lady here or someone that Helene said looks like PewDiePie or the cute little pug or random. We're gonna go with random again because it makes it much more fun than you know, these other options here that don't really mean much. There's a how to play section which we definitely don't need. You can set your controls up. You can play up to four players locally. I don't know how that would work on a PC. I suppose you can plug more than one controller in. At the moment I'm using the controller. It's a PS3 controller. Helene's using the keyboard and that is that. The keyboard's kind of terrible. <laughs> I gave it to her so that I can put on a good show. But those are the options, and now we want to play. Because that's obviously the most important part. You can go adventure mode, which is standard. That's just the one where you go through all the levels and try and make it as far as you can before you die. And then there's a daily challenge, which I have no clue about. They say compete against other online explorers in today's adventure. You've only got one shot. You can only do that once a day. So it's like a daily quest in World of Warcraft that you've got to complete every day. You could potentially get rewards from it. So it's interesting. And then there's a deathmatch. But we are going for adventure. And I'm sad that we don't have any other characters to choose. Because I have access to this little fellow over here with a big nose. This dude. This girl which I can't play in this situation. And that fellow. I don't know. I don't know who to go for. Something tells me I should be going for this guy. Just because. But I'm not gonna do it. There are 16 more that are locked. I'm not even sure how to unlock them. I'm assuming it's just things that you either pick up, maybe you meet them in the game world, or something like that. But, again, for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna go with this little dude, and she's gonna go with that little girl, and that's gonna be that. Let us depart, fair maiden. <laughs> and I hope I find a nice damsel in distress to make her jealous, so she can perform better. That'd be amazing. Look at us climbing. We like little monkeys. Now, the first time you come down here, you find a little dude stranded in the corner over here that... Oh, look at that. Wow. Leopard crawling. <laughs> we like sharks. No, no. No, don't whip me. Don't, don't whip me. That's enough. He's, he lies in the corner here and he starts the tutorial up for you. I've done that. I got that out of the way. It was incredibly boring because they don't let you die half as much as you want to die in a roguelike. That said, though... Let us get started. This game. We played for about a half an hour before we started, and we suck at it. We are so, so bad. More so her than me. But we're both kind of terrible. <laughs> so the controls are pretty basic, and I feel I just need to explain it quickly. On my controller here, I can jump, I can attack or throw. So that's attack. And it can, <laughs> it can hit her. It can damage her, so that's kind of terrible. And then I can drop a bomb or shoot a little climbing rope up. Those are the four things that I can do. I can also run, which is the top shoulder button here. And for some jumps, you've got to run. You really have to run. And your objective in this game, or what you need to do, is run around the level and collect all the valuables so that your cash, your dollar, dollar sign over there can just get fatter. And then you can buy stuff with it to make your game easier. And I suppose that just counts as your score. So you'll have a better score if you collect all that stuff. And with us... Ooh, that was close. <laughs> with us playing here now. Nice jumping, girl. It all counts and adds up together. So we share in the money pool, which is good and bad. Then, 
If you want to look down, you can just hold down in and look down and the same thing goes for up. Look at my dude's nose. It's, it's magnificent. Oh, there's <laughs> a snake. <laughs> I just whipped the snake and her. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad at this game. Terrible co-op partner. Let's look at what's at the bottom first. So if we jump down there, the chances are slim that we're going to make it back up because there's no ladder unless we use one of our ropes and there's a timer on these levels. So you've got to hustle. You've got to really move. Now, when you have two people, it should like theoretically be a whole lot easier because you've got two people collecting all this stuff. You can split up at least a little bit to try and get everything. So with these things, it's better to just pick them up and throw them in case there's something in them where he's going, Argh! I got it. Amazing. Now I'm going to make a shortcut for us. Here we go. Here we go. Because I see our damsel over there. So I'm going to drop a bomb. And run. Everything is fully destructible here. And I like it. Careful, girl. Careful. I'm working. <laughs> and I'm going to get the snake. No! What? Get, get, get. You can jump on mobs like Mario. That's possible as well. I'm going to use a rope now to show you what it looks like. Because I absolutely love these. It's such an Indiana Jones style adventure. I really like it. Now we have to carry the damsel all the way to the end of the level, which is a bit of a mish, if you ask me, but it's well worth it because it will once again, as I said, heal us up. And if we are on max health, I think it gives us... Oh, we gotta hurry, we gotta hurry, we gotta hurry. That terrible chill is a bad thing. If we're on max health, it gives us extra life in our pool. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Run, 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 run. Hustle, girl, hustle. We gotta, we gotta get out of here, quickly. I don't know where the exit is. Oh, we can push these things. Go, 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 go. Run, run, run. Here it is, here it is. We're gonna go in here, like right now. <sighs> because we're gonna die. That was possibly the best run we've ever had. And I just got a kissy. I didn't see if she got one, but I definitely did. I don't think she's jealous. I don't think she's really jealous. Uh, but it was worth a try. Those things are also worth keeping an eye on because they can turn into skeletons. And she just got hit by an arrow trap. Did you lose two life there? Because now I'm on four and you on two. You were actually on four before this. The arrow trap won't shoot again. So now we gotta move a little bit faster, see if we can get through here. And the levels work in such a way that it's mines one, one, then one, two, then one, three, and then you move on to like jungle one, one, jungle one, two. Now watch, I wanna say watch this sick move that I'm gonna pull off. Actually watch this sick move that I'm gonna pull off. No, what? didn't see the trap. No, help me, help me, help me. I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm okay. But that spider, we should probably stay away from it, seeing it both on one life. And we don't want to end our run right the heck. Now, we're gonna make it through here. We're gonna play so, so carefully now that it's gonna hurt. These spikes, you can walk through them. But if you jump, you're a goner. So I'm thinking, ooh, there's a spider. Wait a minute. I'm thinking the best idea is maybe to use that little mouse over there or rat or whatever it is to distract him. Distract the spider. Get. It didn't work. What is the point? Okay, okay, I'm gonna bait him. Get back, get back, back. Ah, oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now watch out for the trap up there, firstly. And let me get this quickly. I can do this. Maybe it's gonna work this time. It's not. What is the point? Oh, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ruin the spider's day. Get back quickly. I'm gonna drop a bomb. Oh! That's not ruining anyone's day. That was so pointless. Can you do this then? I don't... I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I just died. It's done. But she's gonna continue. No. Wow! Look at that. She's gonna keep going. I'm a ghost now. So I'm kind of haunting her. Oh, wait. Hold on, hold on. I see what I can do now. I see what I can do. I can push things around. This is amazing. Oh, and she's dead too. <sighs> oh, dear. We need to work on our teamwork. <sighs> I don't know if it was that. I don't know if that was the problem. We're gonna try again because I want to make it a little bit further. So we should both play careful and play quick. That's the tough part about this game. You don't know where the balance needs to be. You just don't. Okay, there's nothing on this side. But we could potentially blow through here. It might be a waste, but let's just go to the other side first. Let's go to the other side. See what's up there. I want to make it to one of the further levels. That spider doesn't even need to be bothered. Let's just stay away. And what is that big skull and crossbones on the wood here? What does it signify? Three bombs. You know what? We should, we should like waste the bombs now. We should be wasteful with them because 
it is no doubt going to be worth it. So I'm thinking, put one down on the left-hand side at the bottom here, in the corner, while I get this. Put one down there and run. Okay, that's fine enough, that's fine enough. Perfect. Perfect. That was good. Now we're going to go through here and collect the jewels. Wait, I'm going to bait the trap. <laughs> oh no, wait. Ah! She's baiting the trap. Okay, well that was not that successful. I see PewDiePie is waiting for us down there. Perfect. Can I, can I make this jump? You know what? I should have given her the controller. Whip it. Whip it. Just, just do it, girl. Yeah. Nice. We need to find a shop. I think in the second level there's generally a shop. But... Okay, here's the exit. But let's see if we can get to our damsel to bring him here. Hmm. Now I'm wondering... Put a bomb down here. Come put a bomb down here because you've got four of them still. Not too close. That's perfect. Right the heck there. She actually tossed it. That was so lucky. <laughs> and now, we can go up and get him. This is it. Right after I get the box. Ooh, more bombs. Okay. So we're gonna... Let's just keep exploring until the terrible chill runs down our spine. Leave that dude there. We will be back for him. There's not much else to explore here. There's literally like one more little box to get, but there could be something good in here. Journal and a compass. Hey. Oh, it points to the exit. That's useful. There's a little red arrow now. Okay, let's get out of here. You can carry the damsel this time. I, I think it's fitting. It's fitting that you're carrying him. Don't drop a bomb. Okay. Wow, she's really up in her game right now. Before I was recording, she was not doing quite as well. <laughs> it's amazing. So let's have a look at the scoreboard because we haven't actually done this yet. So don't press anything. Let's see. Wow. Okay. This is a pretty one-sided relationship. <laughs> Neither of us killed anything. Okay, so in the second level, there should be a shop. There should be. I'm, I'm getting the spider. I've got this. I don't have it. You know what? Next time she can do it. I know she's going to su succeed. <sighs> Little Nero snake popped out of there. The snake's faces look like Nero puppy. That's what their faces look like. I'm getting these and I'm coming down there. What is... What is this? Why is that piece of wood there? It looks like you could potentially use it, like a trap door or something. And I think the next time there's a spider or something hanging around like that, we should... Okay, it's safe. We should just sprint past it. Let's do this. And I figured out that you can push these blocks around, so that's amazing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's that dude again. We tunneled our way to him last time, and he wrecked us. I feel like we should show everyone what he does when you find him. What is all this stuff? Hakim's General Store. Hakim. Hey, man. Hey, and there's the pug. I wonder what'll happen if I put a bomb in Hakim's General Store. Because I want to get through to the pug. Okay, let's move. Let's move. Let's move. We're wasting time here. Down. Let's do this. Now I'm wondering if we should blow through to that guy. Not now. Not now. Maybe when we've cleared... I didn't even see that. You know, I need to be much more aware of my surroundings because I only got one life left. Get that thing. Get that thing. Whoop it. Nice. Huh? Why did we get a general... A journal entry from that? That's... Peculiar. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Wait. I'm alive. I'm alive. I've only got one hit point. This doesn't bode well. You know, we should probably just... We should probably just go through here. Let's just do it. Let's see what the next level looks like. Because why the heck not? That was such an unsuccessful run, though. <sighs> oh, look at all those spiders. <laughs> and snakes, too. But you know what? I can handle this. And... Ooh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful shot. I'm gonna do the same with this... With a spider here. Let's see if it works. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, nice. You wanna do the next one? You can do the honors on the next mob. Because I'm not going up there. You've got two health. I've got one. No, wait, wait, wait. We don't need to go up there. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. There's nothing here. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. They coming. No, oh, I'm dead. Run, run, go, run. Save yourself. Oh, look at the size of that snake. A spitting cobra. Wow. That's intense. Oh, I can blow things around here. Wait, wait, wait. 
just released another snake. No. I can check what's inside these things for her. No, what? I got it. 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 It's another snake. Just drop on its head and you got him. Drop on its head. And then you can get that sapphire. Nice. Keep going. Keep going. I'm watching over you, girl. Oof. And I'm watching that big spider over there that you're going to have to get by. So I just don't know how you're going to do this. Maybe you should hoof it now. Look at that teamwork. Be ready. Sprint. Sprint. The best thing to do here is to sprint. Just sprint by. There. And I'll whip. Whip, 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 whip. Or don't whip. Just run. <laughs> You've got this. You have so got this. This snake is trying to spit at me. I'm going to blow him off the edge. Get, 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 get. I can't do anything. Oh, clever girl. But you know what? I don't know if that's going to get you to the end, is it? Keep going, keep going. And watch out for that snake spit. And the spider's going to jump on your head. Watch out. <laughs> You're surrounded. Oh my goodness, just run. Just run. Get out of there. Get, oh man, this is amazing. This is amazing. This is so special to watch. I don't know how she's doing this, but she is. Look at that cape. Clutch play from Eline was spectacular. Now she can get out of here and hopefully raise me in the next level. Because generally when someone's dead and you go to the next level, then there's a coffin in that level that you can just go to to raise your partner. Zed. Oh, she's just rubbing it in my face now. <laughs> Look at the kills. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Mine's one of four. This is the last mines level. Press down. Let's see if we can find the the coffin. Oof. I don't see it. And these mobs are looking much tougher than the previous ones we fought. There are so many spiders here. But I'm going to blow this guy off. Get ready, get ready. That's imbalanced. Wow. Hold on. Blow the big guy off quickly as well. And that's that. <laughs> that's the end of a run. It was pretty good. It was actually pretty good. One damsel, 13 kills. But I think that's going to be it for this adventure worthy. I think I gave you a pretty good look at what Spelunky is in this video. Now there's a whole lot more. If I'm not mistaken, there is a Egyptian type tomb biome. There's an ice cave biome and then there's a jungle biome. And you have to go through a whole lot of these to get to those. So there'll be four mines ones. There'll be four jungle ones. For ice ones, for Egyptian ones, I'm not sure what order they come in specifically, but you do get rewarded for surviving and making it further. Then you also get rewarded with unlockables. So I'm going to go to the main menu to see if I can show you what's going on there. Yes. Because there are stats that you can get and look at and compare and cry about. I don't want to see this. I don't know why, but I think those stats weren't updating properly. Then there are achievements that I, for some reason, can't access. It might be because I'm in offline mode in... I just saw that little face for the first time. That is super grizzly. Is that a little pug face? Man. But it might be because I'm in offline mode. But there are achievements. You can unlock things. You can get different players, as I said before. And then there's all the other stuff in the game. I would say that this is well worthy of a grand adventure, mainly because of the crazy replayability, the fact that you can local co-op and play online. Because the daily challenge and deathmatch, as far as I know, are both online and you can play them against other players online, you can play them locally, the lot of it, definitely worth what you're going to be paying for it. And I like it. I had a lot of fun. Did you enjoy it? She shook her head, in case you didn't see. <laughs> but that's it. If you are in fact interested in Spelunky, then you can get it on Steam or GOG for $15 right the heck now. But that is sadly going to be it for this adventure worthy. Check back here soon for more. Like the video and share it and do all that other good stuff. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly though, happy adventuring and exploring in Spelunky. Happy that.